world welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to take a really plain simple candle from dollar general and spruce it up a bit to make a really beautiful christmas candle so stay tuned and i'll show you how to do it Alrighty, let us get started with this yeah my table my crafting table here is an absolute disaster i've actually got three or four crafts going on all at the same time but um this one here this is a flameless led candle similar to the ones at dollar tree but this one came from dollar general as you can see this one is a lot thicker than the ones actually this one came from dollar tree and see this one's fairly thin this one's a lot thicker it's a lot heavier and it has this really pretty design engraved all over it I've already opened it because I stuck the batteries in it. I just wanted to check it, make sure it worked before I pretty much <laughs> glued a bunch of stuff to it for the video. I wouldn't be able to return it, but this was $3. They have bigger ones for five. No, this is going to be fine for what I'm using it for. Y'all know my Christmas colors. I love red and white and silver and gold and all of that. And I'm like, this candle is pretty enough as it is. But, you know, I could spruce it up a bit and make it look a lot more like a Christmas candle. So, I have this little bottle of Mod Podge. As I was cleaning up my craft room, I came across this. Y'all know I like to make my own. But this small bottle here, it's the Gloss Mod Podge. It came from the Dollar Tree. I have some of this silver glitter that came from Walmart. Extra fine. I have a paintbrush. I have a pack of this uh, red rhinestones. I believe these came from Walmart. Um, this was, again, stuck in my stash of, of whatnots. And I believe that this came from Walmart. And I'm going to be trying to utilize some of these onto this candle. Now, all of these little cutouts here, I want those to be silver. And I'm going to accent it everywhere with these red rhinestones. So what I'm going to do is open up my glitter. Yes, it has a shaker cap on it, but I don't want to use it. A lot of people have suggested that I put my glitter in glass salt shakers. I'm like, but there's no way to seal those up. If you buy these at Walmart, these actually have a shaker lid on them and you can seal them. And they're stackable, which is why I like them. But let's set this here. As always, I'm going to pour a little bit into my cap and then I always rinse the cap out after I'm done using it so it doesn't glue itself down. And then just inside these little, I guess y'all can see this, just inside these little indentions here, I'm just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge. And you want to be careful working with these candles because this stuff, I'm assuming it's real wax. It feels like real wax. It cracks like real wax. I saw a couple of them. And be careful. Just look at the, um, look at the edges when you're buying these candles. A couple of them I saw that the edges were kind of cracked and busted. And the cracks look like they do in real candles. So I'm assuming these are real wax. So I'm just going to put a little bit right in there. And I'm going to shake the glitter on it. And don't worry if you get glitter all over the other parts of the candle because you can very easily remove that by just taking a piece of packing tape and rolling across it. And it'll take it right off. As you can see, all of my glitter is done. Do I have any packing tape laying around? I usually do. Hold on, let's see if I got a, I don't think I do. Well oh, darn, oh wait, yes I do, yes I do. This tape also came from Dollar Tree. I use it for, I use it for crafting because I think for packages and whatnot, I don't think it's all that great. But yeah, you can just touch the tape to it and it'll just take off any excess glitter. And I'll do all of that once I get all of my little indentions, cutouts, whatever you want to call it. Once I get all of those full of glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Mod Podge and glitter all over this candle. And I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and dry. I'm going to get the tape off of myself. Ah! And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I have in mind for my rhinestones. Okay, here we are. I've not gone all the way around yet because this has taken quite a while, but I've got enough done so that y'all can see what it's going to look like. There's glitter all over my table, over my hands, and it's all over my floor. And glitter's like the herpes of the craft world. I'm telling you, once you get it on you, you can't get it off. So now I've got these rhinestones, and these rhinestones are sticky. They're, they're pretty sticky, and um, I've never had a problem with them falling off. 
Ugh. Now you can use hot glue to really make sure that they stick if you want to, but like I said, I've not really had a problem. And now we're gonna see how they act with this, this wax type deal here. I don't think that's gonna come off. Because the adhesive, oh, the adhesive of all these things are really good. It is really good, are oh, really good. Oh, that one just pulled off. <laughs> they are really sticking to the, uh, to the little sheet of plastic there. And all that I'm doing is I'm just sticking these down where, if you can kind of see, it kind of looks like a flower right there. I'm just sticking it. Is that in the center? Just kind of sticking it in the center, just like that. And I think if it turns out like it is in my head, like I was imagining it in the store, you know, actually imagining something and, and doing it's two different things. Okay, there we go. I think it's going to look pretty good. Of course, you know, if you like decorative candles like I do, you know, they can cost a good amount if you buy them already decorated in the store. It's just a lot cheaper to do it yourself, and you can choose whatever colors. I mean, you know, you, you can do whatever color scheme you want to. I just happen to like silver and red. Oh, stick on there. Darn it. There we go. I mean, any color. This would look so good and like purple and silver. Ooh, I'm going to have to do one of those now that I said it. Purple and silver. Purple and gold. Ooh, purple and gold. That would be pretty. But yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. So, I'm going to pause the video again, and I will go ahead and see this side is blank. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do all the glitter and everything, get all of my rhinestones on, and then we'll come back and take one final look at it. And here is what I have. I am so pleased with how this turned out. That is so pretty and would cost a lot more in, in a store already done like this than it did you know, for me to make it myself. Now, um, these little rhinestones, I didn't count how many I used, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that these came from Walmart. And as you can see on these sheets, there's three rows of tiny ones, there's three rows of the bigger ones, and then there's four rows of the medium-sized ones. You can see the indentions there in the light. I used two sheets of the medium-sized ones. I can't remember because the tag is not on this anymore. I can't remember how many sheets comes in a pack. If it's one sheet or if it's two sheets in a pack and I just stuck them in the same bag. I can't remember. But if you go to Walmart and you find these, um, there was a few rhinestones missing. So, <laughs> so I didn't use all of them that was on the sheet. I know that. So, you know, if you get these just make sure that you have two full sheets and then I used a handful of the bigger ones. So there we go. I'm absolutely tickled pink with how this came out. So I'm going to start work on my other Christmas video that I'm going to be incorporating this into. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.